I think because we are so passionate with this building type, there's a real interest in enhancing the worship experience. And we're not what some church clients think architects are, as they just draw blueprints and then just, let's go build it. We're more of psychologists of space. We try to enhance the worship experience by bringing warmth in the room. What can we do to be able to shape and create an atmosphere and a mood to really enhance the individual worship experience for each person? So once you understand the culture of the people and then you can start understanding and promoting and enhancing the communication levels that fit that individual culture, then that'll start helping us present and shape the seating diagram. All of those seating diagrams relate to the vision and the culture of that individual church. And then once we get an understanding of that worship seating diagram and the communication level, we can start shaping that space as it relates to all the possible activities that could happen in that room. And so all of a sudden, all of those things have to be considered and we prioritize them with the church because that prioritization, again, will fit and be complementary to that culture of that church. The concern that we hear uh, repeatedly from every church is, is how will the experience of the, of the preacher from preaching, I'll use an example, if he's currently preaching in a 500-seat worship room and, and the church is looking at building a sanctuary or a new worship room that's 1,500 seats, is the relationship between the preacher and the experience between the preacher and the congregation, what is the father's seat away? And so with all of those things, there, there becomes a threshold where technologies in audio and video has to come in to help supplement the intimacy that is so important within any space. You probably have been in rooms that are 500 seats, but it feels very unintimate. And you probably have been in rooms that are 2,500 seats where it is very intimate. And it's all very important that the intimacy is important uh, and, and it's so crucial to the experience of the preacher and the congregation, not just the congregation. And so we, we, take, we take very cautious steps in developing the right room uh, to make sure the intimacy level is there. And so that's where we stand different. Yes, we're an architectural firm, but we are what we pride as forecasting and psychiatrists of a good worship room atmosphere.